Imagine a time long, long ago, before houses, before towns, and even before farms. You are a shepherd named Og. Your job is to look after your family's flock of sheep. Every morning you lead them out to the grassy hills to eat. Every evening you bring them back to a safe pen. One evening you look at your sheep. It seems like there are fewer than when you started. But how can you be sure? You don't have a way to count them. You just have a feeling. This was a big problem for early humans. They needed a way to keep track of important things like sheep nuts days until the next full moon. So, Og had an idea. He picked up a small stone for every sheep that walked out of the pen in the morning. He put these stones in his leather pouch. When the sheep came back at night, he took one stone out for each sheep. If he had stones left in his pouch, he knew some sheep were missing. Long before we had pocket calculators or smartphones, people carried a fantastic counting machine with them everywhere they went. What was it? Their own two hands. Using fingers to count feels completely natural, doesn't it? We still do it today. A young child will hold up three fingers to show you how old they are. This is probably the oldest counting system in the world. It's easy, convenient, and you never leave it at home. Most early cultures used their fingers to count. They also used their 10 toes. That made 20. Other groups developed clever finger counting systems. They turned their hands into a sophisticated counting tool. No need to carry a heavy bag of stones. As trade and communities grew, people needed numbers that lasted. So people invented tally marks. Let's travel forward in time to the land of the pharaohs and pyramids. Ancient Egypt, around 3000 BC. The Egyptians were amazing builders and organizers. To build a pyramid you need serious mathematics. They developed one of the first written numeral systems. Instead of tally marks, they used pictures called hieroglyphs. Here's the chart of hieroglyphs for their numbers. For the number 1, they used a single straight line. For 10, they drew a picture of a hobble, a rope to tie cattle legs. For 100, a coil of rope. For 1000, a lotus flower. To write 235, they would draw two coils, three hobbles, and five straight lines. The order didn't matter. You could draw the five lines, then the two coils, then the three hobbles. Imagine trying to write 999. That's many pictures for one number. Doing calculations must have been very time consuming, but the Egyptian number system worked for them for thousands of years. They used it to build magnificent temples and to calculate taxes, land after Nile floods and more. They showed the world that a good number system was the key to organizing a great society. Now let's journey east from Egypt to a place called Mesopotamia, the land between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The Babylonian civilization was flourishing. They were incredible astronomers and mathematicians. They based their system on the number 60. We still use their system every single day, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour.